Uh, well, let's bring in Ed Dave. We should we? He is uh, the uh, leader of the Liberal Democrats. It's great to see. You. Thanks for joining us on the programme. As always, did you applaud the Prime Minister yesterday? No, I didn't. And the reason is that um, I called for his resignation uh, some months ago, um, and I think he's been a very poor Prime Minister breaking the law, but most importantly, failing to help millions of families and pensioners. So it would have been hypocritical to uh, applaud. And I found it a little bit weird, if I'm honest with you, that all these Conservative MPs who'd just knifed Boris Johnson in the back were now applauding him. And it seemed it seemed quite surreal to me. Um, uh, but we weren't going to be hypocritical. I left that to the Conservatives. Um, what did you make of the fact that um, Theresa May didn't stand up? Well, she did eventually, but she certainly didn't applaud. Was that a bit churlish? I think she was being true to what she thought. I don't think she's ever rated Boris Johnson as a good prime minister. Um, and uh, in, that, in that regard, I agree with her. I think Boris Johnson has been very bad for the country. Uh, and I think he's divided the country. I think he uh, has got a tr dreadful record on so many things, particularly economy. Um, and with inflation going through the roof and the cost of living crisis, like nothing we've seen for generations, uh, I think he bears a heavy responsibility for the, the pain that many families are, are feeling now. Um, the, and then there were two head-to-head -head, uh, debates uh, coming up. For ours is a fortnight today. Uh, finally got that over the line. What do you want to hear from those debates? Well, I'd like to hear a real plan a plan for our economy, but in particular, a plan for the millions of families and pensioners who are facing a financial catastrophe this autumn. Already we know, and you and I have discussed this before, Kay, haven't we? Um, so many people are struggling out there with food bills, filling their cars, worried about their heating bills this winter. And we know it's going to get worse. We saw inflation going up again this month. Uh, and we know that um, the energy price cap is going to go up hundreds of pounds again uh, in the autumn. And it's the big elephant in the room. And I've been shocked up till now, to be honest, in the Tory leadership candidate debates that it's like the elephant in the room. There's this is huge iceberg coming to hit people, this catastrophe just uh, over the horizon. And none of them seem to be addressing that problem. They seem to be talking about, you know, how to help better off people, wealthy people, uh, Tory party members. They're not talking about how to help the tens of millions of families and pensioners who are desperately worried at the moment. Why would somebody want to be a prime minister at the moment to try to navigate us through this catastrophe? Well, if you're a patriot and you want to help our country, in an hour of crisis, then you should stand up. Uh, and as a Liberal Democrat, I believe that uh, we have policies that could help the country at the moment, and I'll, I'll be, I've been advocating them across the country. We've won three by-elections in the last year against the Conservatives in their heartlands because we've been arguing for real help for families and pensioners faced with this cost-living emergency. We talk, for example, about a cut in VAT. Um, that would both reduce inflation, it would help business on the high street, but it, in particular, it would deliver a £600 tax cut to families and pensioners. And you know that's the sort of practical policy uh, that is right for the moment that Liberal Democrats have been putting forward. And we've been putting it forward responsibly because I was the first politician to talk about a windfall tax to get the money from the oil and gas companies who are making so much money at the moment and give it back to people who are struggling. And so um, I want to hear positive policies like Liberal Democrats have been putting forward. And, you know, you ask about who do you want to run the country? Well, I think people do if they want to help people and if they're a patriot. OK. Um, it's great to see you, um, as always. Come in and see us um, soon. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you.